guys, it's been a long time since we've done one of these. Welcome to a PTV breakdown for the Castlevania chapter coming to Dead by Daylight at the end of August. In this chapter overview, I'm going to be showing you the Dracula killer coming to Dead by Daylight, his power, his perks, and some gameplay for him as well as going over the survivor's perks as well. So let's have a quick look at what the Dracula does in Dead by Daylight. Dracula has three forms that he can shapeshift into. He starts off in vampire form, in which he can throw out a hellfire. This works very much like Pyramid Head, and uh, it is a seven meter ranged uh, attack that can go over small loops. He then has wolf form, in which he gets uh, small tracking orbs, which speeds him up and allows him to charge up a pounce attack. In this attack, you can pounce twice, and you can also break pallets in this attack. It works very similar to Demogorgon and Wesker. And then his final form, that form, allows him to gain the undetectable status effect. In this, he can teleport to vault points, such as windows and pallets, and he can go through those vault points as well. But he cannot see the survivors their auras he can only see their scratch marks so i guess this is a bit like a spirit slash dredge ability his perks are human greed which allows him to see the auras of unopened chests and survivors auras are revealed for three seconds when they enter an eight meter range from a chest you also gain the ability to kick the chest closed uh i'm not entirely sure what the point of that ability is if i'm gonna be honest with you his next perk is hex wretched fate after one generator is repaired, a random doll totem becomes a hex totem and curses the obsession. The obsession then suffers from a 33% repair speed penalty. They'll be able to see the hex totem's aura when they become within 12 meters of that. The effect then persists until the hex totem is cleansed. So this is a huge repair speed penalty to survivors. And I suspect that you can pair this with stuff like hex pentimento and get some really nasty builds going. His final perk is dominance, which makes it so that the first time each totem and each chest is interacted with by a survivor. That totem or chest is blocked by the entity for eight seconds. The aura of these are then revealed to you in white. An interesting perk, which I'm not sure is going to have huge amounts of viability. The survivor for this chapter is Trevor Belmont, and his perks are Eyes of Belmont, which whenever a generator is completed, the aura of the killer is revealed to you for three seconds, and Whenever the killer's aura is revealed for a specific amount of time, that time is then increased by two seconds. So this perk increases that three seconds to five seconds, as well as any other aura perk that reveals the killer gets increased by two seconds as well. The next one is called Exaltion. Stunning the killer with a pallet upgrades your held item rarity to the next tier and then recharges 25% of that item's maximum charges. The rarity is not kept at the end of the trial and the perk has a 30 second cooldown meaning you can bring a yellow flashlight into the game and by the end of the game you'll have a purple flashlight that has charges in it at the end of the game still so pretty cool perk for survivors who like utilizing items the last perk is called moment of glory this perk activates after you open or rummage through two chests when you become injured you'll then also become broken and then you'll automatically heal one health state after 60 seconds so basically if you search two chests, you get a free heal. That's how Moment of Glory works. Here we go. Let's give it a go. Seeing the auras of chests, I really do not understand that, if I'm going to be honest. Nice. I mean, they meant to draw the pallet. Okay, right, let's see if we can't. Use Hellfire well at this loop here, maybe. Or not. All right, that teleports a lot better now. I don't know who I've chased already because they're both the same. I'm just going to chase this one. I don't know if they both had flashlights or not. Oh, there's the castle, guys. Look at it. Now that's cool. That is cool. If I'm tunneling, I'm so sorry. I'm really not intending to. Alright, 
perfect. I didn't tunnel. It appears on uh, every outdoor map. It's any original map. An actual good use of a uh, wolf mode. Good use of vampire there as well. Nice, honestly, good use of the the modes there. We used uh, all the forms perfectly in that situation. stuck there a little bit coming out but that's okay now is this loop big enough to no so that is that is a loop that you can use hellfire across pretty huge honestly came out of the hellfire by mistake. Yeah, I mean, fair play. Nice. A wolf form use. In the open, wolf form's pretty strong. It's very, very forgiving. Very, very forgiving, honestly. Okay. Looks we'll like there's a survivor up here. Nice. That's a really cool way to start a chase on a survivor. Very good way to use Star Chase on a survivor. Very hard for them to do anything about that. Good hit. I mean, he's just straight up dead here, honestly. Yep. Hellfire comes up huge. Very useful. Nice flashlight saves. They're all here. And then probably the hook rescue as well. Yeah. Nice. Oh god. I got spun. I'm getting bullied. I mean, we just down him here. There's no way for him to go. But he... Oh, he's dead, dead. Time to Mori. Our second game already looking pretty cool compared to our first game. I feel like our, our, our second game here is really showing the usefulness of the different forms more.
Oh, I fucked up there. Unlucky. We got a uh, absolutely, absolutely uh, send send bagged by his teammate there. Big. There's the castle in the sky, guys. Pretty cool. I wonder if I can show the castle in the sky with a Mori. Nope. I have to face the other direction. <laughs> Dracula seems kind of broken. He has, like, a lot of tools to his disposal. So... I wouldn't say he's broken. I just think he's got a lot going on for him. <laughs> Nothing's going for him. That, uh, are all semi powerful, semi weak. And it's going to be the killer, the user of the char character that's going to determine his strength as always. I mean, it is a lot of, st sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a lot of steps, right? To achieve something that uh, other killers can do freely. So from that perspective, uh, oh, it has two charge attacks, guys. That's huge. I didn't realize. I didn't realize there was two charge attacks. All right. We drop him here and we moor him facing this direction. It should show us the castle in the sky. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Nice. All right, let's see what the max range is. Yeah, I mean, uh, the wolf attack, I think, is going to be the hardest part to learn. Like, I think the wolf attack has a lot of value, but learning it is the hard part. His hellfire looks kind of clunky. Is it? Uh, does it feel weird? Um. It's very punishing to accidentally let go of the Hellfire. You know, this killer might not be the best killer in the game, but what I think will be fun about this killer is the ways that you can kill someone. Like, coming up with a unique combo of bat form, vampire form, wolf form to kill someone is going to make this killer a lot of uh, fun to, to play. And that's, uh, that's going to be the main thing about this killer that is fun, is that because he has so many ways that he can chase a survivor to get the downs, that's going to allow you as the killer to have a lot of fun coming up with those combinations. And also likely hood is, is that for the survivors, he will also be fun to play against because there's so many ways to, uh, to play against him. And I don't think any of his, uh, his abilities feel very BS from what I've noticed.
All right, so that should be a hit. We can chase it down in wolf form here, probably. With the movement speed that we'll get. In fact, I think I can just charge on her here. Almost. Unfortunate uh, area of the map by looks a bit. Very hard for her to get away from us once she uh, ended up in this section. It's just an M1. I think a wolf form here is going to work very well. Damn, well played. Good vault. If he didn't fast vault that, he was definitely going down. Let's take these uh, haste orbs, chase him down. Almost. Right. Well, good chase. I love how I could just exit the chase there and come back to someone else pretty quickly. Catch them off guard. Damn. Right, this Dwight doesn't really have anywhere to go now. came out of my wolf form, bat form too early there. All things considered. Any ideas for his perks yet? The hex perk that makes it so generator progress is slower. Seems like it has some value. You should have stayed retired. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, honestly. It's a good start to a chase. Instantly into the uh, pallet drop. It would have been cool if I could have got to him there. Pretty good. Follow up though, even though we uh, messed up early, I think we managed to get back on top of him pretty quickly and well. Didn't let him punish us too hard. Ah! 
Nice. Oh yeah, you completely lost him there. He probably just jumped straight down with his uh, balance landing. No, he didn't. Okay. That's fine. Man, this killer has so much kill skill potential that right now I feel like I'm only itching the surface of what you can do with them. The Hellfire is very Pyramid Head. Yeah, if you like Pyramid Head, this killer is basically Pyramid Head, but so much more uh, utility. <laughs> Where's the person who rescued him? Or did he rescue himself? Am I missing something here? Got hit still. All right, I haven't found the castle in the sky yet, guys. So we have haven't. Oh, there it is. Castle in the sky. I was really trying to get the castle in the sky in the more. There it is. Not the wrong. <laughs> Missing a, uh, mischarging a hellfire is really painful. Oh! I'm all this is huge on him. Yeah, it really is. It's the same as pyramid head. As soon as, uh, as soon as we saw that this killer is basically Pyramid Head, we knew it would be. Did that hit her in the locker? Ah, uh, it could have been lag. I mean, we can test it if one of the survivors wants to jump in the locker and find out. You played ho Don't, don't sweat it, dude. We're just trying to test this killer, you know? We're not trying to... Have the most, uh, the best games possible. <laughs> Alright. As a new player, how do I like DVD so far? It's okay. An okay game, I guess. All right, Bill, do me a favor. Jump in the locker real quick. <laughs> we we fought him out sideways. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it was just lag, guys. If you made it to the end, thanks so much for watching the first look at Dracula and the Castlevania PTB in Dead by Daylight. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and leave a comment on what you think about the new killer coming to Dead by Daylight at the end of August.